CitizenCon 2954 is just around the corner. And we know for sure that we'll be hearing about the upcoming base building features. So what better time to talk about the king of base builders, the consolidated outland pioneer. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas in order to participate. Y'all, yeah, please be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. Um, a friend of mine reached out to me um, pertaining to the Pioneer. Um, I think uh, uh, since we're going to be hearing about the the um, base building features that CIG has confirmed as being a separate panel, um, I think it's going to be on the second day. Um, it's uh, I think it's it's good to actually get some information on the king of base building, which is going to be the pioneer. Really exciting ship, manufacturing base building ship. It's um it's one of the ones I'm really excited for. So let's just get straight into it. What we're gonna do is um we're going to let's see if I can adjust myself here. We're going to go through what CIT has gone through when they first introduced the pioneer. And then um, once we uh, um, once we go through, we'll, I'll give my my thoughts on uh, anything that's interesting uh, pertaining to the pipe. Okay, so let's get straight into it. You're still going to appreciate it, um, and you you know you've got your own essentially flying factory. Um, so this next slide, this basically sort of shows the sort of initial development. So what normally happens is that we always provide Chris with a a series of options. Um, he always, you know, if we give him one, he's never happy. He wants to see three, four, you know, the more... A lot can, of them the look pretty see, similar the options, to what they the better. decided on. Um, which is great. You know, we're totally used to it. Um, we know how to work fast. You know, that's, you know, you, you don't really, you don't really sort of set your heart on anything, but, you, you know, you keep pushing um, for what you like, ideally. So we provide Chris with all these options of... Um, uh, how the ship can look good, but also, you know, not be a flying brick. So basically, there's a lot of transformation. See if I we can still skip ahead a little bit. Sort of the functionality, that's already sort of been sort of factored in with talks with design. Um, and what you'll see here is like in a sort of really, you know, we've got next few slides are very sort of behind the scenes. Um, that's sort of the stuff that... Um, that goes on at people's desks and people are drawing on the Wacoms. And this shows, you know, you can tell this is an early one because this is uh, actually flipped the other way. Um, but you can see really early on that um, that we dialed in to, to what we wanted for this ship. So you've got the bridge, you know, it's very much like the bridge of an oil tanker. You, you're overlooking your ship. It's good visibility. You can see you can see your whole manufacturing process, um, and you know basics turrets um, and how this is going to work. Um, and again, these are really apologies for the the sort of small resolution, um, but here you can sort of it gives you an indication of the sort of the block out process in terms of the animation that is, and the manufacturing process. That is so cool. Gonna work. Just wanted to see this. Uh if you pay attention to how it will build, what it is, is it will fabricate everything on on the ship, and then when it's ready to place, it will place it on the location that you selected it to to place it. So, I uh, just um, look at this. And again, these are really apologies for the the sort of small resolution, um, but here you can sort of it gives you an indication of the sort of the block out process in terms of the animation and the manufacturing process. That's cool. So this, this is not a 3D printer, it's, it is a manufacturing plant. So you're essentially, uh, you'll be taking your panels, materials, almost like Ikea, dare we say, a 3D printer. It's, it is a manufacturing plant. So you're essentially, uh, you'll be taking your panels, materials, almost like Ikea, dare we say. I, I would say more like a car manufacturer or something Right, like so more like Tesla, let's say. Yeah. I, prefer, I prefer Tesla. Um, and it definitely suits more with the sort of um, the video we, you've ju you guys have just seen. Um, and so you can see the sort of amount of detail that the concept artist is putting in for the manufacturing plant. Uh, so it's, it's just crazy how, first, first and foremost, this thing is going to be a massive uh, ship. It's going to be a massive ship. 
It's going to take a lot of resources to operate. Um, just to even run the ship in the first place, you're going to, you're going to be consuming a lot of, uh, hydrogen. You're going to be consuming a lot of quantum fuel. You're going to need a lot, lots and lots of quantum fuel. It's going to need some big tanks actually, because in engineering gameplay, um, your, your, your power plant is going to be consuming quantum fuel. At least that's what CIG has said, uh, previously. So you're going to need a lot of fuel to just keep it running. And then to, for manufacturing, you're going to need to provide it with tons and tons of material in order to fabricate these things. And, um, it's honestly due to the size of it, you're going to need an entire organization to run this ship. Honestly, it's, it's going to be very expensive to run, but it's also going to be very lucrative if you're able to use this and build bases for other people, um, for a price as well as other organizations for a price. So let's continue. And basically, you've got two arms, and that's basically where everything gets built. And then in the center, it all gets assembled. There's a little bit of magic that goes on in there. And then basically, the crane comes in and takes, takes your pods. So this is a, um, I guess, final concept model. So we're jumping right ahead in the process. Um, and as you can see, this is it starting to articulate. This is once you've landed and found it a suitable landing site. Um, you've got an arm that's articulating out. Um, there is a turret on this arm, and it's also sort of providing an extra sense of perimeter. I would, I would love to be on the bridge. I think the bridge is over here. I would love to be on the bridge. Can you, can you guys see my mouse? Okay. I would love to be on the bridge and see this entire thing operate. I think it's going to be the coolest experience. Uh, with, with what CIG has accomplished so far with it, um, it's it's level of fidelity and how beautiful the ships are. I cannot wait to see this thing in full operation, and um, it's going to be really exciting. Perimeter, perimeter to your base. Um, the area in blue is essentially the crane, um, and once everything has been um, assembled, this crane comes in, takes takes the habitation pods um, out of there moves it to the front of the ship so that then there's still space for additional pods and depending on how you've configured it. And then again, this is kind of just sort of showing you the process of where the cargo is inserted and uh, it, it basically it runs down both arms, ultimately meets in the middle. Um, and you, you know, as a player, you'll be able to see uh, a ton of this going on. You'll have all the equipment. You'll have all the. You'll have all the robot arms. It'll be. It'll. You know, as you're playing it, or as you're walking around your base, you should really get a good feel of what's going on. Um, swiftly moving on. Um, this is just some quick outlines, just sort of uh, outlining the um, top view, basically, of the bridge. Again, asymmetrical feel, cantilevered design. Inside there, you have habitation, which we'll see examples of after this. Um, some hefty landing gear, because uh, man, that's a lot of landing gear. Uh, additional cargo space, as well as um, a landing pad, which is above um, further cargo space, and that landing pad can articulate, move out of the way. That's pretty cool. Staging the fact area. That this is where all your robots are. This is where everything is getting sort of built essentially from your materials and then manufacturing was where all the magic happens. Um, moving on, these are some of the final um, images that basically have been built for this ship. So you can see the, the habitation pod there already. Um, and you can see there's walkways in there. So as a player, you'll be able to come out, you know, I guess if you're in a, a nice calm situation, you'll be able to come out and see all your cool equipment. If you're in a combat situation, hopefully you'll have more, you know, a good, good advantage or possibly disadvantage for firefights, uh, depending on if you have people taking over your base. Um, and then this is the bridge. Um, and it's, it, this is pretty cool. Um, uh, you can see on the it's side a nice bridge. far left hand side there's a little blue monitor it actually looks quite small uh, but that's actually the architect's station so that's that's the console basically oh just right here the arch architect uh, station configuration i guess so that's going to be pretty cool the architect station so i, I assume it, you're going to be essentially be 
uh, playing Lego <laughs> with the architect station. But that's going to be pretty cool. To uh, I hope there's skill to it. I hope there is uh, um, a high level of customization, which will give way to people being um, more professional in, in this realm uh, to, to have maybe like, just imagine being the best architect um, for base building and people will actually seek out for you to come and, and work for them on their, um, on their pioneer and you get to build out the bases in a unique way that they want. And uh, there's only a few people in the verse that can actually do it. And then you can charge your price. I think that's going to be a really cool thing. But I assume it's going to be kind of like Lego. Um, hopefully they give us... Um, uh a high level of customization as when we, when we build our bases uh that's that's what i look forward to so you're choosing one pod two pod five pods um moving on um rather cool engine room um that's nice you know basically this will be a, a large open space again asymmetrical from the top um, you've got some really interesting turbines that should give us some really cool animation opportunities and it's very, again, very different to anything that we've seen so far in the Star Citizen universe. Um, habitation, obviously, you've got space for a couple of big bennies. Everybody wants big bennies in their ship. Um, uh, and then a split level room, so uh, space for chilling out, Pretty big. watching TV, or just uh, having dinner with your friends. Um, bunk room. Again, very utilitarian, very sort of very basic, down to basics. You could, if you look closely, you can see one crew member in, in one of the pods just lying down. Um, and this is just a quick... Look at the size. <laughs> look a quick, at the size. Uh, a, quick, a quick slide to put together. Just to give you an indication of comparative sizes again and, and, and it's it's possible it may grow in size based on because this was uh uh seven years ago this was seven years ago when they pitched the idea of the uh pioneer so it's possible it may grow in size uh, based on maybe new metrics in and spacing that they may need especially with engineering gameplay being implemented into the ship um it might actually grow in size so this this is a massive 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 ship. Got a little you've got a little Mustang in there, which will fit on the landing pad. And finishing up, this is a sort of final rendering um, of just showing the ship in its full glory. Uh, and it's still you know even Man. though it is utilitarian and sort of um, quite quite big and massive you know monolithic, again with this sort of graphical branding, it's kind of still giving it it's we've broken up the shapes. Man, it's 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 a beautiful, beautiful ship. I think it's. Uh, I would love to own one of these one day in the in the PU. It's um, it, it's quite impressive. The design, it gives you that manufacturing uh, feel, um, industrial feel. Um, so let me quickly go over some of the sizes that they gave when they pitched this. Okay, so these metrics are a little different from what we currently have. So just to give you guys some insight as to um what you can expect in terms of sizes of components to actually run the ship. So um, based on the old system, it says three large power plants is going to have two large coolers as well as four medium coolers. So I think maybe the large will probably be size four or maybe it may be size five components. I'm not sure, but I think it's going to be size four components. Um, six large shield generators. So this thing is going to be a tank. This is, this is going to be a tank. Um, two large fuel, fuel intakes, uh, two large fuel tanks, uh, one large quantum drive, one large, uh, jump module and, um, uh, two large quantum fuel tanks. This thing is going to have, it's going to be a mammoth of a ship and, um, it, it's, it's super exciting. So. I expect that we may hear um, something about the Pioneer. Maybe maybe there might be some progress um, uh, that they've been working on, uh, or maybe they may start working on it very soon, um, but I'm not sure. But I, I think 
they're probably going to start working on the smaller base builders, um, the Galaxy. And I know they already started talking about the smaller ones already, the smaller ground vehicles that you'll use. So we may even see those um, this coming Citizen Con. But then again, you guys let me know your thoughts on what we just spoke about. Are you guys excited to see the Consolidated Outland Pioneer? I know I am. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.